beautiful astrology soulmates and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of August 17th where as we start this week I'm so happy to report that this is a good time to make some moves a great time to take some risks to push forward and the energy is delicious and as we end the week I get to say happy happy birthday Virgos because Virgo season comes on us we enter a time where we're going to get down to business get down to details get some things organized which is all about that Virgo life. So I think it's going to be a really delicious week. Not to mention this week in the Eat and Greets, we welcome over from Astrology Zone, um, astrologer Susan Miller. And if you've not had an opportunity to check out her forecasts, her work, she's got a calendar. She has been in the game for a long time. You don't want to miss out on taking advantage of the guests that are coming who've been doing this for a long time, no matter of age, race, none of it jump in these people have wisdom and she's going to come over and share with us we're going to talk about the saturn and uranus square that's coming up in 2021 and that is a big deal my friends so i can't wait to share um susan with you just on tuesday keep watching for the link and we'll see you in the live or in the playback okay all right so this week as we're coming into the week We've got the Sun and Mercury in a conjunction with each other. So they're going to be meeting up at 28 degrees of Leo here on the 17th. This is a lovely energy. This is busy. Your mind is sharp. You are on it. You are persuasive when you speak. The Sun is light, heat, life, motivation. Mercury is like talking and going and he's in the energy of Leo. So fire of the mouth. You have just got it this week. So dust your shoulders off, drop them back and go. Go out there and be persuasive, be goal, inter, goal oriented and take care of your projects. It's a wonderful energy for that. Not to mention we see the energy spilling over with this Mercury Mars trine that I was talking about at the end of last week. I really like this because this too is... Um, the energies line up between Leo and Aries, which is that hot firepower I was talking about at 24 degrees. But when these two come together, the new moon is the day after. But as they come together here on the 17th, this is so sharp. This is a sharp actionable firepower oriented energy to communicate with to get things done with to make decisions with so really dig into the juiciness of that particular energy and you're you're quite witty in the energy between leo and aries fire energies are quite witty so i wouldn't be surprised if you're just a buckle of laughs right as we continue on and we get into the 18th we see a really bold brave beautiful new moon happening in the energy of leo on tuesday the 18th this is the dramatic moon right this is going to be our dramatic moon for the month it's built on fire it's built as the ruling energy of leo on the back of the sun so light heat life vitality motivation self-expression at this new moon you're planting these seeds of intention that say what is my deal what is my special sauce where am i royal because i own what i have to offer to this world i own my voice i own my risk i am a leader body mind and spirit in my own co-creation here where does this new moon stimulate you to say this is me oh i'm seeing i'm seeing the circus movie what is it the greatest showman this is me if you haven't channeled that song by the time we roll up to this moon i'm going to tell you to do it because that thing hits me in the gut every time and i'm like yes this is me and that could be you at this leo new moon okay now, the day after the new moon happens, we're going to see um, Mercury leaving this fiery energy, the fire of the mouth of Leo and moving into the energy of Virgo. OK, this is lovely because, first of all, Mercury comes home. Mercury comes home into the energy of Virgo. Virgo. It rules this energy. It is on par with being meticulous, analytical, humble, looking for the details of things. Mercury is passionately on fire. And so what we say is they have home court advantage in this particular sign. Now we also move just in what you're saying. 
You may find that as we travel this season, what's coming out of your mouth, what's happening in your mind is maybe before you were very passionately needing to say some things about you. And now as Mercury moves here, you're thinking, well, how can I be of service here? What's the rest of that story so we can get all the details so we can have an effective solution? Literally, it may be the time where you feel the mind change happen on you. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, the other thing I want to point out is that when Mercury is in Virgo, for you personally, if you do need to get down to the details, if you need to reorganize that closet, if you need to get something in order, Mercury of the mind is going to help you to be able to do that brilliantly here. Now, as Mercury comes into Virgo, then just a couple days later, as we're ending out this week, we see the sun coming into Virgo and we say happy birthday to our Virgo friends. Virgo season is upon us. This season with the sun here, light, heat, life, vitality, you are motivated to be seen, you are motivated to do, your ego is literally driven in Virgo season by Virgo's humble capabilities okay so what we're doing over the next four weeks is we are aiming our efforts at being of service to other people taking care of our health making sure things are clean and orderly we are tending to our small pets we are tending to our daily routines we're taking an evaluation of what do i need to be mentally physically healthy do i have an exercise regime going on am i aligned with the correct practitioners for my health and well-being mentally and physically. The thing we always have to pay attention to and be mindful of in Virgo season is while all of this good is available to us, you don't want to be extreme Virgo if you can avoid it. And if you experience it, astrology is telling you the truth up front. So rein it in. You don't want to move to the super overly critical and pessimistic side of Virgo when it's in its shadow. Being in perfectionist mode with yourself and other people, this can be a season where you spend four weeks just beating yourself up because it's not enough, not enough, not enough. And and that is not what we want out of it. We don't want the downside, the shadow side. But if you do happen to find yourself there, my friend, know that Virgo has a non-shadow side as well that is so meticulous and willing to participate in your healing, your advancement, and understanding your unique perfection that you can also move this energy there. That is if you're not busy doing your taxes, finding out the details of everything in your life and getting them all organized. This can also be a time where I'm going to just say it. We might be doing back to school, whatever that looks like for you. Some people will be back to school online. Some people are going to be back in the classrooms, whatever it looks like in your area. My students, my friends, my parents, I just say happy, happy back to school. Nothing better like going back to school under our most healthy sign in the Zodiac and the one who's going to get us into these details to help everybody do their best learning with their best mind. All right, you guys like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love you a ton and I look forward to seeing you in the Eat and Greet with Susan Miller this week, but of course, all throughout, you know, the rest of the year, every week, every month. And also, if you are an astrologyhub.com member, next month coming in September, I am your lunar guide, so I look forward to seeing you there as well. Bye, everyone.